Hi, this is Dave with Snake and Badger Crafts. Today on 3D Printing Basics, resin versus filament. Round one, print quality. In this series of 3D printing basics, we'll be comparing filament and resin 3D printing. In today's video, we'll be comparing the print quality of both types of printers. Throughout the series, we'll be comparing them in other subjects and choosing a winner, or if it's too close to call, a tie. If you're watching this series, then you're probably trying to figure out your first 3D printer and trying to get into the hobby. Hopefully, we'll be able to help with that. The printers that we use in this series are an Elegu Mars resin 3D printer, Ender 3 by Creality, and Ender 3 Pro by Creality, and the Creality CR10. These three printers are all made by the same company, Creality, and they're all basically very, very similar. You can think of this one as that one's big brother, and this is the special one who has a couple extra bells and whistles. We'll go over that as needed. But, the main thing you want to pay attention to is how the Ender 3 compares to the Mars. Because these are the two baseline ones and they'll be the most comparable in price. First things first, let's give you guys an up close view of all four dogs. As you can see, they're all the exact same size. They're all printed in the same color of material. White, white resin, white filament. The only thing different in the filament prints is the layers. Um, Cura, which is what the filament printer prints were sliced in, has four settings of prints. That's low quality, standard quality, dynamic quality, and super quality. I had three printers printing this, so I did a low, a standard, and a super quality dog in filament. And then as for the resin, I printed the resin dog just in the standard settings that comes in Cthubox, which is a standard sort of uh, slicing software for resin prints. As you can see, looking at the dogs from eight inches away or so with the camera, there's not a whole lot of difference. Nothing should really stand out or nothing really stands out to me looking at the camera from here as being amazingly better than the others from this angle at this distance. Uh, my question for you is can you tell which one is the resin print from, from here? It's number three right here. He's the resin boy. Okay, let's get an up close look. So a couple points I want to focus on. The first being, well, the top of the head. Usually when you get to uh, the top of something, or when you have these sharper angles, like the curve of the head, that's where you'll see the lines more. You can see right here, this is the low quality print on the ender. You can see those layer lines, how they grow. You can see up here on the nose, a bit more of the lines as well. And then down here on the feet, if you look close, you'll see them. And then I noticed right here on this leg, is an excellent spot to see the lines as well. Let's get it out of the way. That's the low quality. This one's standard quality. You can call it quality two on the Ender. This is printed on the Ender three. You see right here, the lines, still visible, but not as profound. The nose looks more round down here. The feet look a little better. And that layer line up here on the leg, even though it's visible still, not as defined. The level four quality on the filament printer, on the on the CR10 up here on top, still there, but a lot better. Nose can't see much anymore. What we were looking at earlier. Feet look good. And that layer line over here on the side 
is pretty much non-existent. You won't see those lines like you did on the first two. And then we got our resin print. Look right up here on the top. Smooth. The layer lines on this are so thin that you really can't see them. Turn the nose. Looks just like a nose. Feet. Rounded. No layer lines to speak of. And right here on the leg. Round. Now, do you hear that? Compared to this guy. That's the knife running over the layers. So, in the first round of resin versus filament 3D printers, print quality goes to resin. The main reason for that being this dog has over 2,000 layers. Meanwhile, the super quality dog over on the CR10 is closer to 800, maybe 900. When you have that many layers, those slopes, those curves, those rounded edges have more time to adjust and you're not going to see those layer lines. Um, but the next question for the next video is how long did this dog take to print compared to the other three? So if you want to see that video or more videos like this one, like and subscribe down below and uh, if you want to see more of these printers we'll try and have some links down below you can click on to take a look and uh thanks for watching